Hello everyone, it's Caroline from Create Your Future. I am a coach here and I am also certified in uh, hypnotherapy as well as NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Practitioner. Um, I have, before we start this video, uh, my hypnosis three currently that are still on sale. Uh, we have a uh, first one, I am, which is about I am statement to overcome rejection. So when you're facing rejection, usually we talk about, you know, what's going on within that's rejecting the situation. So we go back to our self-concept statement where we are absolutely amazing, uh, etc. with all the qualities. So that's uh, all on a track. We have another one to manifest a long lasting committed relationship and the third one i title um how to receive an avalanche of text so this one really focuses on who your sp is as a person who you are as a person and then what it looks like in a relationship and therefore then you get all the communication. So this one is really long and it's really good, not only for communication, but in general, you know, to really create uh, an amazing version of your SB. I have received, and I'm gonna read it, uh, a question, which is what to do if you're not talking with each other between you and your SB. And um, okay, there's no texting, but there's no fight. There's really nothing like this going on. So, and she said, neither one of them is texting. Okay, so what to do in those cases? All right, so um, there's no contact. Why not? Why don't you, why don't you have contact with this person? Okay, you are, how do you meet people? How do you meet people in general? Do you, do you see somebody you want to talk to in a park? You know, if you just there, th is it difficult for you to talk to that person? Uh, or, you know, contact is easy and fluid because in general, when there is no attachment to a person and we meet a stranger, uh, you know, just casual, whether it's at the supermarket, uh, like I said, in the park, wherever it is, uh, it's usually not very difficult for us to exchange a few kind words, right? To, to, to open up, not open up fully, but to, to say something. So what is it that prevents you in this situation? Um, you know, I'm, what I'm trying to say here is that why is there no contact? At what point do you feel not free to communicate with this person at what point do you feel free do you not feel free to text or to approach this person where do you put yourself in this situation that you know you may imagine that the person in front of you will be rejecting you or is not interested in you or finds you not um captivating enough to have uh, any kind of connection what is stopping you you're not fighting you've already maybe had contact once or twice you see what I'm saying so I would like you to go back to when you uh, you know approach either a stranger casually you know you can be uh, waiting in line <clears throat> at the library and you just talk to the person who's in front of you or the person is, who is behind you these little casual conversation come out quite easily because you don't care you, you you're not afraid of the response from this person you're just exchanging a few words and and that's it when you approach your or you want to text your best friend uh same thing you don't really think twice about it you have something to say to your best friend, you go ahead, you say it. You text this person. If you want to ask somebody to go out with you to, you know, uh, to a restaurant or to a concert or anything to go out and take a walk, if it's a good friend, no resistance right there. You take your phone, you text, would you like to come? Yes or no, it doesn't matter. You're not afraid of the reaction. So what happens with a special, specific person that prevents you 
from going the extra step? Are you thinking rejection? Are you thinking, you know, fear, doubt of the, the, the response? Or is that person gonna make fun of you? I mean, all I'm trying to say is, what do you think the other person is thinking at this moment that prevents you from taking action? Because there is nothing wrong with taking action. You want to text somebody, go ahead and text this person. What matters is your state, how you feel, what you think the other person is going to do or say to you once you reached out. So if you believe that this person will be happy to hear from you, yes that's that would be a great idea why not let's uh let's meet up let's get to know each other if you have this mindset there'll be no resistance you already anticipate the reaction of your special person what becomes tricky is when you have the resistance and you anticipate um that this person will reject you this person may make fun of you this person may just um, humiliate you at this point know and remember that with the law of assumption nobody in your reality has um, free free will you decide what they think you decide what they are going to say to you so if you feel that little fear if you feel that uneasiness about reaching out don't reach out at that moment. Prep, prep the field. And what do I mean by that? Is that you are going to do a little bit of mental work, a little bit of, um, you know, rehearsing in your mind of what's gonna happen with this conversation. Only if you don't feel at ease, only if you fear that the reaction might be something a little bit scary for you, uncomfortable unwanted unsatisfying so number one you bring yourself into a state of neutral if you have to calm yourself down for meditation breathing exercise whatever it is and then you remind yourself i'm the only one in my quantum bubble who gets to think who is in control of what every actor in my movie thinks or says or does so there's nothing to fear there's nothing to be scared about because if you choose the reaction of your sp to be a good reaction if you choose that your sp will be thrilled to hear from you thrill at the idea of getting to know you thrill at the idea of yeah that was great that you contacted me that was great to receive a text from you let's go let's do something together then that's exactly what's going to happen so whatever you believe the person's reaction will be will be and you prep the field by rehearse, rehearsing and um you know if you must uh write it out write out a conversation anything that will make you feel confident enough that your um initiative of, te of texting or asking them to do something together will be well received and that's really you know all it takes there's no contact why is there no contact go ahead get contact so you do it by knowing with confidence that the other person on the other side your sb is absolutely thrilled and happy that you reached out as a matter of fact they have been thinking about you and they've been wanting for you to reach out and they're the one who didn't dare or if you prefer another scenario that they initiate the contact then rehearse this in your mind as well rehearse it you may say you know you may have like an inner conversation where they reach out and then you would say oh my god this is amazing i was just exactly thinking about you and i was thinking the same thing it would be nice to to get to know each other so the mental work behind it is exactly you know the same as it is for any situation with an sb or anything else it's about being confident 
with yourself, knowing that you are in control, knowing that you get to choose what they think, what they, what they say and what they do. And then you kind of implement it in their mind by expecting them to react that way and feel confident enough that this will be the response and not and then no other response. So I hope I was clear. Um, this video is short. I was just uh, it was just to answer that, this question. Um, I am traveling right now, so I don't know if you can hear the music. They're having a pool party downstairs, and um, I hope it's not too disturbing for this video. Um, guys as always thank you for your support thank you for all the amazing emails you constantly sent to me i really appreciate it i love your feedback um please keep them coming and um i will talk to you in the next video all right guys bye bye